Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the stat man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the stat room. Woo! How is everybody doing this wonderful morning? Guys, before I get into my picks and a recap of last night, let me get into my positive word. And my word for this fine morning is quit. Ladies and gentlemen, most people, they like to watch what you're doing to see if you fail. A lot of people don't wish success on you. You have to understand that, that you're, you're battling against everybody. Because successful people, what makes them successful is no matter how bad things get, no matter how rough, they never quit. You don't fail unless you quit. It's like people watch my videos. I would say the majority of the people watch my videos because they like my content and they wish success for me because if I'm having success, then they're going to have success. If my four horsemen do well and you put them in your lineups, then you do well. So you watch my videos to hope I do well. But some people come on here hoping that I fail. And for those people, I, I really pity those people because they have just a horrible life and they're probably losers. Because any person that wishes failure on another person is a failure themselves. No successful person will say, I want to see that guy fail so I can go post stupid comments. So guys, in life, you will never fail if you quit. All right, so I'm going to leave it there with quit, guys. All right, guys, so before I get into my picks, let me introduce myself, guys. I am Vaughn the Statman. You can follow me on Twitter, at Vaughn the Statman. And guys, check out the website, VaughnTheStatman.com. And guys, I'm doing my season MLB for $100. I mean, my season MLB for $100. And you will get the WNBA for free. Or... If you want to do just, that's my VIP season. If you want to do just a regular MLB, I'm doing it for 70 bucks. And, but the VIP season, you will get my top 20 list as well. All right, guys, so that's enough of that. Let me get right into DFS because that's why you guys came here. All right, so we got a 14-game slate on tap. I'm going to run through the games really briefly. You got um, Los Angeles at Baltimore. This game has the potential of having a few runs. Boston at the New York Yankees, I think that's going to be kind of a low-scoring game. Washington at Philly has a chance to have a lot of runs. Um, you have Detroit at Toronto. I think this is going to be a high-scoring game. Um, Milwaukee at Cincinnati has a shot to being about a five to four run type game. Houston at Tampa Bay. This is a game that I'm very afraid of because Cole looks like Hitters have figured him out. The last time he faced Tampa Bay, they actually blasted him. So I'm a little, I'm scared of Cole. Um, next, you got the New York Mets at Miami. This is going to probably be a low scoring game. I like um, the Chicago White Sox at, te at Texas has a chance to be a high scoring game. Atlanta at St. Louis. This is a game that I can't call this game because T. Haran is not as good on the road as he is at home. But my colas is hot, cold, hot, cold. So that's a iffy game. San Francisco at Arizona, I think that's going to be a pretty medium scoring game, like one of those six to three type games. Cleveland at Oakland, I think it's going to be a high scoring game. Pittsburgh at San Diego, I think it's going to be a low scoring game. And Colorado at Los Angeles, I think that's going to be in the middle. And Kansas at Seattle, I think it's going to be a one sided game. All right, guys. So. Let me go right into my four horsemen, guys. I'm give oh oh yesterday in FanDuel I went two and one. I cashed in the earliest slate and cashed one main slate and the other main slate didn't cash. In DraftKings, I cashed in both main slates and didn't cash in the earlier slate. So I went two and one for DK and two and one on FanDuel. All right, so go right to the picks. I'm giving you pitcher Rodriguez from Boston. He's a lefty. He has a three eight six ERA versus the Yankees. He's only 8,100. Now, I know everybody's going to want to go Bauer, Cole, and DeGrom, but those guys are like $12,000. They're very expensive, and I think that the, the three expensive pitchers will get you that 38 to 45. I think Rodriguez is going to be really close as well. He only has to worry about two hitters. To me, from the Yankees, he's going to have to worry about Stanton and Hicks. I think he gets Hicks out. Stanton might, might hit one, but I don't think Judge is going to hit him. But Stanton is, you know, because Stanton does well against lefties. But I, I think he, he gives up two ERAs or less. And I think this is going to be a pretty low-scoring game. 
You know, I don't think it's going to be one of those nine to seven games. I think it's going to be a four to two, four to three type game. All right, guys. So first base, Abreu. He's um Chicago White Sox. He's a righty. He has 12 home runs, and he's going against Texas. He's he's only 3,300 guys. I think Abreu goes off in this game, guys. I think he's going to exceed value. I think he's going to get over 15 points, man. I think he even has the potential to hit a home run in this game. Next, I'm giving you second baseman Shoop. He's a righty. He has eight home runs. He has a 199 batting average, and he's only 2,700. Now, everybody says that Scope, and even I have said this, that he bats better against lefties. But if you look at over his career, he actually hits righties better, and at home, Scope is even better. And Scope has been... Scope is a guy who will give you three to four uh, game, and then at fifth game, he he doesn't typically give you five straight. So I think that that scope is going to go off today. And last but not least, my boomstick play of the night outfielder Betts, who I think is the best hitter in baseball. He's a righty. He has 20 home runs. He has a three 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 six batting average, and he's versus Sabathia. He absolutely owns Sabathia. Every time he's faced him, he's got a hit from from looking at the numbers, and he is um I ain't gonna say hit every time, but each game like if, if it's in a game and if it's he gets up to bat five times, he'll get a hit one or two of those times. Like I don't when I was looking at my numbers, I don't see Sabathia facing him five times in the game and he don't get one hit. All right, so and he's fifty two hundred guys. He's the only expensive player that I like on the slate. All right, guys, so I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I am on to today. So guys, don't forget to win win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And guys, don't forget to think and ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. And guys, it's impossible for you to fail if you don't quit. Love you guys.